I made it a hundred, or no, sorry, 371 miles so far. I like did seven days of 20, like 18 to 25 miles. One day of that was only eight miles, but all the rest of it was like, you know, 18 to 25 miles, which is like 25 miles is nine hours of walking. This was actually a really cool week, even though, I, like I said, I was walking really, really far. The neat thing about it is my brother and his friends came up so that I could walk from Heber to Holbrook because that was 43 miles. Plus I had three miles to make up from the day before. So it was actually 46 total miles. And I did a 25 mile day and then I did a 22 mile day and I made it the whole way to Holbrook. And um, it makes all the difference to have people to walk with me. It makes it, I like it when I'm by myself too. It's very zen and it, it's so beautiful everywhere I've been. But the act of walking through the countryside here, everything's beautiful. It, whether it's the mountains or horses in a field or um, just something in the grass or weird signs or whatever, it's endlessly interesting. But the joy of the last weeks is so my brother came and his friends and they walked a couple days with me over the weekend and then heather and nico came and walked with me three days through the petrified forest and that was amazing we got backcountry passes to hike back in, um, off the trail and camp and i had no idea you could do that literally we had a campsite surrounded by these ancient 250 million year old trees that have been fossilized and turned into stone that look like crystals with colors of red and yellow and blue and pink and white. We're surrounded by all these amazing ancient trees in a bed of like moonscape white sand. When I got to Sanders, I talked to the Route 66 a uh, restaurant, the lady there, and she set me up with a friend of hers so that I could sleep in the Baptist church. However, it was kind of sleeping on the floor, and I thought, uh, okay, that's cool, I can do that. And then I started my walk, they dropped me off at Chambers because I couldn't go any farther back than that. So they dropped me off at Chambers, and I was walking along the frontage road, and there was a new lands ranch um, organization there. And what that is, is for the Navajo who have been displaced. They were in Hopi land, I guess, and they just, they were displaced and they moved them to ranches in this area in Arizona, um, in northeastern Arizona. And then they're, the new lands ranch organization is training them to do horsemanship, basically, like how to, how to care for their horses and do profitable ranching and work with cattle and they have um, certain families have permits and certain families don't have permits to um, work with animals and so I just stopped in I thought well what is this place and I wanted to ask questions and it turns out that uh, as I was talking to the director he said you should talk to Bill I said oh, who's Bill he said Bill rode his course across the country in 2008 it took him nine months and I said, oh, yeah, I definitely have to meet Bill. Bill walks in a moment later. We chit-chatted. He told me all these great stories about his crossing the country. And he said, well, why don't you stay at the ranch? And I said, really? So rather than sleeping on the floor in the Baptist church, which would have been also interesting, I went and stayed at the ranch. They invited me to stay for two nights. So I was able to walk the next day and get a ride back there. And um, he's got this great big spread with, like, 400 cattle or something and horses and he trains he's one of the people who trains uh, the Navajo um, to he does like demonstrations and stuff to show them how to do something like you know shoeing horses and all sorts of things like basically ranch ranch management so they're a really cool family and um, very sweet and they said yeah we we know what you're we understand and then they gave me some advice that I hadn't expected. Um, she said that she always contacts the sheriff's office ahead of time and often they can help you get in contact with organizations or find a place to put you up for the night. Last night was my last night, the last night of the, of the past week and I stayed with, um, uh, with a friend of Heather's 
uh, a friend of Heather's stepdad. I need new shoes. Yeah, I need new shoes. The tennis shoes have been really comfortable up till now. And in that case, um, I'm down in the brambles and I need shoes that ha are not mesh. Because by the end of the day, it's full of things and sand inside and burrs and things on the outside. So there's one moment on there, um, and I don't know how you'd find it, but it was a very beautiful moment where, and probably he's a, Andrew's photographs for some of the stuff. So, but anyway, there was a moment where my brother's friend had walked with me um, a, a, a long way. He walked nine miles the first day and 15 miles the second day. And he would never walked 15 miles, 15 miles on hard pavement up and down into the ditch with cars whizzing by is a lot of work. And at the, toward the end of that, when he decided, okay, I'm done, you know, I'm, this is a good amount of walking today. He said, I have something for you. He said, when I found it, I thought it was for me. He started to cry. He said, oh, I'm going to cry. He said, but this is for you. So I, don't want to I like the oh, coin. <laughs> I did something that I thought I could never do for someone so special. Aww. And this is, uh, I just got it. And it's funny, I was just telling Cam that I thought it would be something that I had needed, but I think you need. Aww. So, You're so sweet. I'm very glad that you have allowed me to take this journey with you for a very short, short period of time. Short period, two damn days. <laughs> so I thank, thank you. you, and you carry. Aww. Thank you, and you carry that with you. Please. I will. This will keep and me safe. That I love, and there's a little Saint thing Augustine. in the back. And he handed me a Saint Augustine coin that he had. That I'll have to read it to you. Take care of your body as if you were going to live forever, and take care of your soul as if you were going to die tomorrow. Saint Augustine. <laughs>